Hello. Good to see you. Okay. Hello, everyone. And welcome back to the Road to 100 Stars. Uh, this is part, uh, who knows, quarantine day 5783. Uh, uh, with who knows how much more we have ahead of us. And so, uh, uh, it could be Monday, could be Tuesday, who knows what day it is anymore. Does it really matter? But, no, well, to some it might. <laughs> For me, it's just another day, another dollar, and then another day of quarantine. So, um, here we go, we're going to be... Uh, running through the hopefully we're going to be getting our 23rd star here uh, in this episode we'll see if that actually happens but I really hope it does we're going to be running a Demeter hammer Are you double checking everything? no I'm showing the audience uh, what we're going to be running so we're going to be running the, sh uh, the Sharur alleviated the noble silver or noble shadow alleviated uh, we're going to be running frost wave you'll see it's xed out but uh, we are running a, a plus mind, and we need an S, so we'll be running Cognitive Zeal to compensate for that. Uh, we're going to have Swift Destruction. Well, how do, how do you have a hammer? How are you going to get any damage out of a hammer with Swift Destruction? Well, you'll notice here we are quick mobility at just under the 128.7 uh, weight limit here at 50%, so we are quick. Uh, with a huge hammer here that we have pretty good defense on at 76 across the board and when we use steady bulwark coupled with guard booster we will have a hundred percent block across the board able to be quick able to use frost wave which is a penetrating skill uh, and then if we get surrounded we can use legion punisher to stagger everyone and we can get in and out uh, because we are quick mobility and anybody we kill will give us five percent health back uh, and there's a lot of enemies through here, and since Frostwave can one-shot the uh, regular um, lost with the axes and such, uh, not the Legion guards, uh, not the Cerberus troops, but uh, everybody else, uh, we can get uh, some health back pretty quick. Now we're going to be running Cleansing Light, as that uh, will be a beneficial health uh, assistance when we use Auto Heal, which is the unique of, um, of Demeter. And since we are going to be running 30 I-Core, uh, we will be able to use uh, Auto Heal here and there uh, while having a fairly high I-Core stock. Um, and also we're going to be running Bridge to Glory. Now Bridge to Glory is an additive uh, damage buff. Uh, I need to do a special topics on this um, and put it in the uh, special topics uh, uh, playlist. But uh, it's an additive gift, it's not a multiplicative, so it's a very different uh, behavior. But since we're going to be running Bridge to Glory, we're going to be going with something with a very high uh, light scaling and, and light uh, base here. So that way we can get the most out of the damage that we're going to be getting out of the Sharur. And since we have the Sharur, we can use the Charge Heavy and get a 5% ice damage buff onto our weapon as well. So we should be able to uh, do fairly considerable damage while at the same time having uh, great mobility as we dodge around and then do some attacks. Now, as you see there, one attack takes a giant chunk out of our health, out of our stamina bar. So we're going to be trying to couple that with Frost Wave and Legion Punisher as much as we possibly can. So let's go ahead and get our uh, buffs up here, and we'll go ahead and heal ahead of time for Eva. And uh, we have the uh, bayonet um, on deck here. Uh, just in case we need to do some ranged attacks, but we may switch that up. Uh, and this area right here where you have high enemies above you, uh, those are great areas to switch it up and uh, use some kind of uh, ranged, uh, some kind of uh, damage attack where you can uh, pull those enemies down. Ooh. Whoops, I missed those guys. Okay, thank you, Eva. So let's go for this and guard booster. May you find your rest. Now I'll show you what I mean here. We have a 100% block. And if we get focused here, we can get a, a launch on this guy. Oop. What? Come on. It's a stupid shield. Oh. 
Eva. Thank you. Oh man. I should have gone for the shooter. Okay, well, the launch did not happen, so there's death number one of the night. Oh, so this is a uh, a fairly interesting build because uh, there's no way to uh, recover from a group like that. Uh, you see, we got gang banged there a little bit, um, but uh, we didn't really have a way out of it too much. Thanks. So I tried to use Liege and Punisher there, tried to uh, get that going, but uh, it was not successful. So <laughs> I love the. the slow burns here from Eva. Okay, let's get Bridge to Glory going. And uh, we'll run past these guys, grab our haze. Whoa. Those guys are the worst until you uh, hit them with a frost wave. Oof. What? Like that. And we just killed three guys in one shot. <laughs> so we have very good stagger uh, on the regular attacks. Um, and we have pretty good knockdown potential um, with uh, the running attack. There we go. And we get, uh, now the problem is we want to be making sure that we uh, go for that final strike uh, in order to ensure, oops, we dodged a little too far, to ensure that we get uh, the, the health damage, or the health, the 5% of health bank. Now what happened there, my brain stopped a little bit, but what happened there is when you back the, cor the camera too far into the corner, um, and you do a backstab, it doesn't know how to resolve that issue. So the backstab animation doesn't have, because I have animation on for the camera, um, it doesn't go backwards far enough to make sure that uh, you can resolve that animation before, uh, see there, how you do that step backwards. Um, so it didn't have enough room to do that, and so therefore it could not resolve that, um, that issue. And so what it does is it just staggers the enemy, and they just stand there for a second. <laughs> so it's kind of strange, but that's what happens. And uh, the best thing to do when that happens is to go for another backstab or do some kind of knockdown uh, to ensure that you're not uh, just hung out to dry. Oh, we, we took a hit. Oh, we were stuck on Eva there. <laughs> oh, well. We'll get 5% back here, and because we have 3,300 health, we'll be getting about 160 one, uh, or so back. Right. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Kill a bunch of guys right there. And, oops. We'll get a launch on this guy. Seeing we can dodge in and out fairly quickly and as needed. Um, because we are at a quick mobility, and because Frost Wave is Pierce, uh, it does exceptional damage versus the Cerberus Guards, um, as they are weak to Pierce. And also because we, uh, it's, it's ice, um, we, we have fairly long range on this. There we go, we can just kill that guy right quick, and run over here, get a backstab. Oop, get a backstab. Now the big lady here, we're gonna have, uh, some issue with her. So we're going to make sure that we stay a considerable distance. Oh, now there was auto heal for Eva. We want to get a backstab. There we go. So we get her shield off here. Now see, uh, Eva and I are at a kind of interesting place here as, a, um, as I can't heal her now because auto heal is off cooldown for exactly that reason auto heal has uh, severe limitations in that regard as you cannot uh, heal your partner so now I have a useless gift and I have no Eva so life uh, sucks to be me right now uh, 
Okay, so we'll continue on. Now that we don't have Eva, we can go for um, Adrenaline. That'll give us a 10% multiplicative bonus instead of a 60% uh, uh, additive. Okay, let's get these guys going. Oh, I thought I could stagger him first, but his charge attack was too much. Okay, so you know what the, you know what you do when this happens. <laughs> Usually, you just run past everybody, and then you have a cadre that follows you. I see you're up. Okay, let's do this again. Thanks. There we go, and let's go. Oh, we have Eva again, so we'll go back to auto heal. Now, auto heal can be great if you uh, pair it with a, uh, another healing gift. So you would have to have two healing gifts um, to ensure that you have one on deck uh, to make sure that you can heal during um, during out of combat or when auto heal has been used. That you can go ahead and use. Um, oh, oh, I hate that. I hate that when I use Frost Wave and it goes into a wall. Okay. Trying to dodge around these guys. Get a launch on this guy would be great. Okay, most excellent. That was kind of an awkward angle to throw that, but okay. Wow. This is where quick dodging can help because uh, we can get around these guys fairly easily and quickly. Let's go ahead and kill him. We don't like him. We'll dispatch him. And we'll get a Legion Punisher on this guy. Okay. Now we'll come over here for some backstab potential. Since we're running low on i and we need uh, Gift Extension to be up before we go into this next part. Oh, yeah. Pretty good stagger on this guy, and we'll just get him in a corner here. <laughs> Ooh, an Argent Wolf Blade, how nice. Those are not the rarest of drops, but they're fairly rare, so it's nice to see uh, some of those coming out. Let's go ahead and get these up, and by the time we get over to this guy, Cleansing Light will be ready, and we'll have uh, a l we'll have 10 I-Core, and especially after this. So we get about 7.5, 8 I-Core back on a backstab because we're at 0.85 and again we know the formula for that is times 9 so we can take a look here at our I-Core regen uh, so the alleviated has a 0.83 so times 9 is uh, 7.27 so uh, we get about 7 and a quarter back on a backstab so there you go 7 and a quarter See, and uh, Legion Punisher does have stagger built in, so uh, it is good to use it when you when you have it. Oh, jeez. See now, what what happened there? Why did I get revived? That was uh, that was me killing two guys down the way. And then, uh, because they died, Eva didn't have to revive me. And the health from those two enemies that died revived me. Uh, because they died after I died. So that health came back to me, and it revived me. So, it, uh, killing enemies quick that way can kind of save you. So it's kind of an interesting mechanic that if uh, that is there and is available. Now if we line these up... <laughs> we have perfect block. Remember, that's our active plus guard booster. So we'll try and utilize that here as much as we can. Since we have it, we might as well use it. Now we don't have unlimited of perfect block because we have only four, um, four more guard boosters left. So because it is a consumable, it is on a limited life uh, kind of a kind of a time scale there. So let's get Bridge to Glory going. 
Now we made it back here with uh, limited difficulty. Let's pull this guy back. Since we have perfect block, we might as well go ahead and use it. Good grief. Okay. The shield guys are, uh, for me, they're the hardest. Uh, since they they block at strange angles and at strange times, but these guys they just take damage straight up no matter what and they stagger like a regular enemy and uh, It's no big deal now back here. There is um, This guy on the ground, but uh, we have a mark of honor here, so if you're looking for marks of honor That you can't get on your own because you don't have any friends or something this is a place that once you get to this point in the uh, in the game, you can go ahead and uh, uh, pick that up as as a as a bonus for your hard effort. Okay, so if we run down this way, and then we wait for this guy to line up. Now you'll notice everybody died at the end of the hall there because <laughs> we lined it up with frost wave, so. It's a great way to um, utilize the, the power of what this um, active gift can yield you in a kind of a tight situation there. I have an MJ310. And uh, so that got us an extra 10% before we even got into this fight. Um, yeah, kind of a, a neat mechanic to abuse that if you can line up the enemies, uh, it can be a great, great use of... Uh, of an excellent uh, active gift, and as that is from the uh, DLC, um, you you have to uh, play through a considerable portion of the DLC to be able to get Frostwave. Whoop! No. Okay, Eva's going in on those guys. There we go. Utilizing some of that quick dodging. Let's get our ice going. That's 5% more damage now. So if we get Cleansing Light up and Bridge to Glory here in a second. Okay, let's get a launch. That was his option to hit us. That was a mistake because <laughs> it focused us. Oh, a Queen Tungsten. Very nice. Now let's uh, go for this guy first. Now, um, the benefit of this build is the fact that you are using a hammer while being light and quick mobility. Um, because not a lot of hammers allow you this luxury. Oops. Um, so we are kind of uh, in a different category here where we can dodge around, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, right? Oops. We'll just kill this guy out, right? But the fact of the matter is, is that we have a giant heavy, heavy, heavy weapon. Which is kind of, you know, the antithesis of why you would want to be quick. Oops. Wrong button there. Thanks. Wanted to hit gift extension. See, so now we have our full 60 complement of, uh, of um, I-Core stocks. So we are pretty set and ready to go here. Now, uh, what I was saying about uh, upward attacks, uh, you have a couple of great upward attacks uh, that come out of the Dameron. Uh This weapon uh, has a swinging upwards if you're running, and that can knock enemies out of the ceiling. Uh, we can also make the Dameron come along for uh, extra damage reduction. I believe it's a 25% damage reduction. So we'll go for that in here. So you see there at the bottom of the screen we have a, a little shield icon that looks like Iron Will. However, the fact of the matter is, is it is um, a damage reduction as opposed to blocking resistance. So you'll see there the shields are a little tiny bit different, but not much different. So th that can actually hit this guy. Oops, let's switch to our hammer here. 
There we go. And kill him. Good. Uh, titanium. That's average. So this way we can kind of kill enemies before they... Um... Oops. Oh, wow. Lucky hit. He's got an Argent Wolf brand, and that is a very, very heavy weapon. A very good weapon. Okay. Now we want to go for bridge. And we'll get this guy back. Wow. Now see, because we, um, because we are running an alleviated, uh, blood veil, we have very little resistance to any kind of damp any kind of damage that's coming in. As you can see there, we took one little hit, and this guy almost killed us. Whereas he's not usual, not the usual suspect that you die to. <laughs> okay. Oh. Let's get a frost wave on him. There we go. Good. Uh, so frost wave is where the bulk of our damage uh, potential is going to come out of in typically most every scenario um, because of the fact that it does such a long distance damage while at the same time being pierce and allowing us a whole bunch of opportunities like this one this guy just sucks to knock me out of uh, my active. But this guy will get our Icor back. <laughs> Don't kill Amoeba. I want that 5%. I'm greedy for that 5% health back. So, uh, lifesteal is not a uh, real lifesaver here. <laughs> it's helping to kind of offset and mitigate some of the damage uh, that we're taking. But it's not uh, a count on all the time kind of a gift for this kind of a run because either you're taking damage uh, and everything's pretty much a one shot anyways so it doesn't even matter or you're so good that uh, you're not taking damage and you don't need lifesteal anyways so it's kind of a you know situational kind of a pick uh, as far as gifts go because it's like well you know Maybe you need it for that one time, like I had at the beginning there, where we uh, killed the guys, and they uh, died, and then gave me my health back. Oh, see now, Eva killed that guy. Oh, another tungsten. We're getting lucky on the tungsten drops tonight. Uh, so, it, you know, it, it can be, it can be used, uh, but it's not something that you definitely want to be relying on. But it has its uses. There's auto heal again. We'll dodge out of this. I don't want any part of that. Okay, good. We'll hit her with another frost wave. Now here is where um, you can kind of abuse these soldiers. Now this is a part in the game where this guy up here and that guy up there, those two gentlemen uh, allow us to um, farm for the Argent Wolf uh, Bayonet, and these are the uh, only guys in the game where they will allow us to do that. And since we have Eva, she can shoot these guys if she so chooses, or not. Okay, so we'll shoot them. And since they're weak to pierce, uh, we do pretty good damage. We'll activate this guy. Now the best is when they drop down here and you get a couple backstabs and uh, they kind of take the bait, like this guy might. Yeah. Oof. Eva. Oh, no way. So that is some. That is a way that uh, sometimes you can cheese those guys to come down and they drop uh, into your session for you. And we're all the way back here. So. In this scenario, we do the uh, clever technique of running. This might not be <laughs> Look out for lost soldiers. And now we'll do less stamina loss dodging.
And because Eva teleports, she will uh, teleport with us uh, conveniently as we go along here. And then we'll get another stamina booster. Get another gummy pill. Now this part is dangerous because these guys will follow you. So we'll let our stamina regen. We'll just dodge through here. Now Eva should be okay there. She can dodge away, but uh, she will teleport with us again, like I said. Oops. Okay. And let's go ahead and give ourselves a heal. Okay, this is another dodging sequence here. Well, this is uh, quite the dodge simulator <laughs> that we got going on here. And uh, this guy at his two frames a second or whatever kind of animation that was. That was exciting. Okay. Oof. There we go. Eva, you can stay here, you know. And she'll do the swing. We'll get another backstab. So we'll load up, load up on some I-Core here. So the government center uh, can be kind of difficult. It's not the most difficult. But uh, if you are built kind of like what we're doing here, where we're trying out some hammers and some different builds that can uh, run hammers and such, then these can be pretty difficult. Okay, let's get this and auto heal since Eva's. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if she's. Uh, she's fighting this guy. Uh, she should be able to take care of that guy. She is a strong woman who don't need no man except Jack. No, this is still the captain. You can tell by his little uh, crowny, pointy thing on his head there. Okay. So, we are right back to where we were before. So let's shoot this guy. Let's see if he comes down. It would be great if he did. Come on. Eva, don't waste your eye core, baby. Okay. Come on. Alright, we'll just kill him again. And we're in the same exact spot we were before. But this time we have a hundred block. Which, he looks like he's a little confused. There we go. <laughs> okay. And... No, no luck. So these guys are the ones that drop the... Uh, they drop the Argent Wolf. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that lock on, it locks on in a, in a sphere around you. It does not lock on in a straight line of sight. So I was looking at the guy in front of me, and I got the guy to the side. And so now we're having to deal with these guys, which was not uh, ideal by any means. Okay, so let's get uh, Cleansing Light and Gift Extension. Now, uh, Cognitive Zeal is over, so that's a problem here. We need to get that back up so we have access to uh, Frost Wave. Oh, this guy's still on the rampage here for Eva. Where are you going? He was doing a Naruto run there a little bit. He had the hands backwards and the front and the face forward. He was on on the prowl. Alright, we're just going to leave her alone. If she's not interested in any of this kind of action, then we're just going to let her sit there. So the government center gave us some issues here, gave us a little bit of problems, but uh, nothing too severe, especially with the run back uh, technique where you just kind of bypass everybody. Oh, 
Oh, of course. All right. Come here. Can you run down here? You gonna jump down or? Oh, Eva. You're playing it. Playing it. Hard to get there. Uh oh. Now the big lady's active. Everybody's after Eva. Look at this. I bet that soldier's coming back too. Yeah, I hear him clinking, clinking and clanking his his business. Okay, we have to get a backstab to get that shield off of her. Uh, right quick. That way that does not uh, hurt us in any way. Let's get a Legion Punisher. Oh, come on. I dodged. Or so I thought. <laughs> now, the Guard Booster does not do anything for your um, ability to take damage. It only works in tandem with guarding. So like this, and like that, and like that. Need some stamina. Okay, there we go. Good. It's fairly painless. Now the uh, attendant, she is weak to pierce, uh, so we have frost wave. That will be what we'll kind of count on for our damage. And uh, she is weak to staggers, uh, but mm, she's not really that weak to crush. Thanks. So we're going to go for the missile, as this is a very dangerous proposition. So we're going to heal up, since we have the heals, we might as well. So the first order of business is dodge up. Oh, he activated everybody. Not good. Not good. Okay. Back up here. Get a frost wave into that group. Nope. Oh. Oof. There's auto heal for Eva. Hopefully she doesn't die again. Because if she does, then uh, we cannot help her, unfortunately. We're gonna knock down on this guy. Ooh, Eva, you animal. Yeah. Way to go, Eva. Now, Eva will be the most useless uh, uh, partner that you can bring with you to the uh, Skull King fight. Because she does pierce and she does blood, the two things that the skull thing that the skull king is uh, resistant to. Get some healing. Oh, uh, we're all right, Eva. We'll we'll be fine. Uh, so she is the one that you would not want to bring along. Unfortunately, that that's just how it is. But uh, it's the partner we chose, and except for the uh, Queen's Knight Reborn, uh, we're going to be taking Eva all the way to the end with us. Okay, let's get this and this, and here we go. Ooh, she's a quick, quick little uh, attendant. But as I said, she's weak to, or she's uh, resist, or she uh, staggers easily. And frost wave is pretty considerable versus her, Oof. and she's pretty considerable versus us with those long range attacks. But see, the, that's the issue uh, with, um, maybe we can get a Legion Punisher. Oh, missed. Oof. Eva, you're gonna save the day? Nope, nope. Uh, so because, again, we are running an alleviated um, Blood Veil, as, uh, I'll show you this, the defensive stats here. It's uh, fairly uh, insignificant as far as any kind of defense goes. So 26, Crush we have a 57, Blood 31, Pierce 29, and all of these are very, very low defenses, and she is uh, strong, she does uh, Slash and Pierce, and no Crush, and that's exactly everything that we're weak to, so. 
Yep. And just ignore these guys. Eva's killing people, which is great. Thanks. Okay. Yep. Sorry guys, you're not invited. I gotta, uh, gotta get out of the corner here where I can see. Get cognitive zeal going. Now she has elemental wall up, which uh, we don't want to be doing on ice attack now. But we can definitely do. Oh. Okay. Oof. No, I'm not okay. Okay, now let's get. Uh, so that attack there is a great stagger potential. Oh, missed her with the other two swings. Run. Oh, missed her. Okay, get a stagger maybe. There we go. There we go. Uh, and Eva takes the kill. All right. So that's how uh, the attendance fight can be uh, patient and calculated and uh, actually you can lose <laughs> um, just because of the fact that uh, we don't have any defense against slash pierce or blood Lots which is ev everything and all the things that she does uh, so um, you gotta play it uh, way safer than a, a run and gun kind of style unfortunate for me because I like the uh, kind of running in taking the hits and continuing to go instead of the patient waiting game I'll take the launch if you're going to give it to me. Okay. And then we did all the uh, other runarounds uh, last playthrough. This is the last uh, attendant, as you can see here. Uh, so Eos Vestige is the key one. Uh, we'll, we, we can talk about en endings here a little bit as we go down the elevator. So there's four endings in Code Vein. There's the perfect ending where you watch all vestiges you save all rev uh, save all successors and uh, or all the EO vestiges sorry let me start over ending f ending number four the perfect ending where you get all the cutscene and everything is where you watch all seven of the EOS vestiges and you save all four successors uh, and you restore their memories uh, ending number three is where you restore all the successors and you restore their memories save them and then for the attendant here at the end, you do not watch Eos Vestige 7. Uh, and that's ending number 3. And at the end, uh, you will not get an extra special little word um, at the ending cutscene. Uh, for ending 2, you save one successor, restore one memory. That's all you need to do. And then for ending 1, uh, you j all you need to do is uh, just finish the game. You don't, you don't do any saving of any successors or vestiges or anything. So, if you do all four of those, you can get the uh, Determiner of Fate, I believe is the achievement uh, for that. And, you know, everybody says there's three endings. Well, there's actually four, uh, and that's important to know if you're uh, an achievement um, person, uh, like a completionist type thing, then you have to know that there's four endings, and you got to go for all four of them. Now, um, there is a way that you can get um, endings 3 and 4, the perfect and the pretty good ending, um, in one go, is where you, you restore all four uh, successors, restore their memories, watch six vestiges um, of, of the Eos uh, um, attendant there up at the elevator top. And then um, after that, you come back you, and you finish the game, and then you come back down here to the uh, Skull King and you fight the Virgin Born again, and then you will get the fourth ending uh, simultaneously. So you can get both endings uh, three and four in the same run if you so choose to do that. Okay, so we're going to go in here. Going to go for this. And this and this 
and this. And because we are weak to Slash and Blood, this will all be a one-shot, uh, as we've seen in the past. So my old rival here, the Skull King. But uh, hopefully we play smart. So we'll try and commentate uh, as good as I can here, uh, but uh, it's been a long weekend. I will do my best here. Let's get uh, steady bulwark up here. Now we can dodge and block. However, the fact of the matter is that uh, as we do that, um, we have very little stamina. Oh, I think we might be. Oops. Nope. Okay. Let's back up, get some health. Let's get another health. Now you'll see here that he's very resistant to any kind of magic attacks that you might want to do. Now see there, we uh, ran out of stamina to block, even though we have perfect block. Let's heal up. There's auto heal for Eva. Hopefully he doesn't do his jump attack. Oh. I even I even saw that coming. Okay. Let's get another guard booster here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and back up here and get our uh, bearings again. Let's get a Legion Punisher on him. Oh, come on. I'll repay the favor, but... There we go. Oh, no way, come on. Oh, man. Whoa. He's just killing Eva. Now see, because she does blood and pierce, and that's what he's resistant to, that's what he's heavily resistant to, because he's, I mean, just look around. He's, he's uh, in a lake of blood. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he is resistant to blood. But uh, we'll uh, make sure that we dodge a little better this time. Yeah, I'm sort of ready. Okay, halfway though, that was uh, not a terrible run for the first go. Not playing this build ever in my life. Come on. Let's start up on my dodge. Uh, let's get steady bulwark. And bridge. Okay. Oof. Oof. Wow, that was that was pretty bad. That was horrible. <laughs> All right, we need to drink some water. It's 45 minutes in here. Trying again is more constructive than getting depressed. Okay. Now I really wanted to get the uh, star on this run, so uh, if you stick with me. Uh, we're going to get through it here, and uh, lend me all your encouragement, <laughs> all your jazz hands, they all need to be waving around. So uh, with this um, with this build, this illustrates the idea that, you know, there's a saying in English that you can't have your cake and eat it too. Well this is why, and this build uh, exemplifies that, kind of to a T. because we have really good uh, dodge. We have fairly okay damage. Ooh, Eva. And we have stagger potential. We have a lot of uh, abilities with this build, but uh, we just have no defense. 
So that's where we we miss out. All right, let's switch this up to uh, a tormenting blast for scenarios like that. Okay, let's get a guard booster and more stamina. Oh man, I thought I dodged that. I really thought I dodged that. I thought I dodged that too. Hmm. I have the timing off on his uh, on his swings. <sighs> okay. So instead of um, let's see. Well, we don't need uh, cognitive zeal anymore. So we can go for elemental. Uh, we'll go for this, so we can defend a little better. Because it's all about the damage at this point. Okay. So this is a very, again, bizarre way to play hammers. To play a quick hammer, uh, that's kind of an oxymoron, because the startup time on your animations are wicked slow. But as you can see, we can dodge in and out. We can uh, get places. Whoa. Okay. Come on, buddy. Don't kill Eva, because we need to get you staggered. Oh, no. Okay. Mm-hmm. See, why was he not... Uh, transitioning uh, before, I don't know. Yeah, he takes no staggers. Uh, he just doesn't care. He just does not care. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna do it. We are gonna do it. Before the one hour mark. I'm sorry, Yuva. Uh, so we'll get rid of this, and we'll go for uh, this one. And we'll count on Tormenting Blast being our uh, uh, damage dealer, or at least a semi-damage dealer. I had to change it up here a little bit for the Skull King. Couldn't run uh, Frostwave or some of those other gifts that we were running before, uh, understandably. Let's get a hit on him. So we can get steady bulwark going. And uh, there we go. Got a block. Good job, Eva. Oof. What? Oh my goodness. No, no, no. We can block all these, that's fine. That's the one we can't block. So we need more health here. More health. More health. Good. Whoa. It seems kind of a cheap kind of a move where you can jump halfway across the arena, but, you know, who am I to argue with Bandai? Whoa. A dodge away is not a good enough dodge away. Look at that. Reach. Where's my... Where's my full arena jump? <laughs> Look at that. Reach. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, he's... Playing nasty tonight. And I'm really tired too. Don't get too fired up.
covered up. Take a deep breath. So that is where Demeter lacks severely, is that uh, basically the idea of Demeter is that whatever Demeter can do, Ishtar can do better. <laughs> um, that's pretty much the the idea of Demeter, as it has a very, very low uh, stamina pool, Are you ready? which is why I'm running the uh, stamina stimulant uh, up here, or stamina booster, to uh, give ourselves a good chance of um, uh, recovering some of that lost stamina that we have or that we don't have from Demeter uh, auto he okay well I wanted to show what my stats are why can't I see my stats I just want to see my stats okay why well, you gotta do the unblockables Leave Eva alone. There we go. There we go. Let's get a stamina booster again. Okay, he's staggered again. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate here. Busy with Eva. We'll get some things going here. There's that heavy stagger. Oh man. Oh. His. Oh, there's where. Auto heal. Whew. Come on. Oh, he gets quick. But there's a good example of why you would want to have auto heal and a secondary heal. As when Eva died, auto heal picked her up. And then uh, she picked me up, and then she died again, and I picked her back up with a modest offering. So that is where um, that is where Demeter shines the most, um, as it has auto heal. And for most else, um, it's not really a hammering build. <laughs> it's not a hammering blood coat, although it can be. I mean, we're we're using it. We're not doing a very good job here but the fact of the matter is, is it can be it can be done okay. he has such a sweeping arc He does weird transition times. <laughs> He's like supposed to be in transition, and instead what he does is he goes oh, and does something else. Is he gonna jump? There's the jump. Okay. Need to heal up. Come on. Okay. 
is serious business here. We need some I-Core. We need some life. Thank you, Eva. As you can see, most of the time, uh, you don't have the life or the health for, um, oh my goodness. Uh, you don't have the life or the health or the i -Core to maintain auto-heal throughout a fight. Um, it's just not uh, usually in the cards, so it's a, most of the time, it's a prepare ahead of time kind of a gift because it costs uh, 10 i -Core. I mean, modest offering costs 2. Like, I, I don't understand why, why that disparity is so significant for something. I mean, I guess it's, uh, you know something after the fact like somebody can die and you don't have to think about it but to be that significant of a of an investment and without uh, cleansing light it becomes a very very uh, difficult gift to use wow we're dead already Alright, oh. this may not be, this may not be the winning card, unfortunately. Uh, I would love to finish with Eva though. We started with her, I'd love to finish with her. Uh, we'll be picking another, um, another NPC in the next go around for 23, or 23 star going to 24, so uh, if you have a character you'd like to see kind of played with and uh, seeing how to run with them, uh, let me know. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to play our, our cards one attack at a time. One attack and then back up. See, and now auto heal is, or uh, yeah, auto heal is up, and we just lost all of our I core. Okay, that is the end of his combo. Back up. Get a guard booster. Now we need some I core, so uh, if Eva goes down twice, which she may very well. Now I'm only hitting him there because of i -Core. not because I actually want to do any damage. Um, some i -core back here. Let's back up, get Cleansing Light, at least Cleansing Light. Oh no. <sighs> you 
and there's the one hour mark. Oh no. Mm. Wow. Not too good. Not too good at all. Okay. But having the quick dodge is very nice. Um, that is, uh, you know, an exceptional benefit of uh, this kind of a build. And again, the, that's the problem with hammers. If they would half the, uh, either do something where they would half the animation speed of these attacks, or they would half the stamina consumption, hammers would be really good. But as it stands, they're always mediocre and subpar, unfortunately. And as you've seen uh, through uh, through all of these play, uh, plays that we've gone through here so far, uh, any time that a that a hammer build was considered or used or picked up in any way, we always had stamina issues, and we always had problems uh, picking up any kind of considerable uh, considerable build where you could do anything viable. There, there's a there's a few niche, uh, you know, kind of things, but uh, not very often. Eva, just dodge back. I wish I could. But as soon as I get in there, I die. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Good Lord, I'm a dummy. Definitely don't need lifesteal. Um, okay. So... But good thing we have a thousand of each of these items and consumables, so we don't have to worry about wasting those at any any point in time. Now we probably should go for like uh, some kind of stamina buff. charge attack that has pretty good stamp uh, pretty good stagger now tormenting blast is kind of hard to use uh, since it uh, has that j dash forward mechanic and a lot of times you can miss on the second attack or the first one depending on where uh, you land the attack I'm just gonna go into stagger there we go Top off on guard booster. Guard this. We can only guard one more. Okay. There we go. No way. Come on. Let's back up here. You gonna do your jump? Nope. Because Eva staggered him. That was a good, good stagger, Eva. Well done. Let's get some more stamina. There's auto heal helping us out. Where are you going? Okay. Let's get a charge on him. Get a block. A tormenting blast. What? Oh, his blood trails. Oh, I was out of stamina. Couldn't dodge. 
You're not finished, Diva. I'm finished. What in the world? Oh. Mm, the register on the Dodge is killing me. And my tired old brain is uh, having some issues here. Alright. We'll get you going here, folks. Uh, if you're with me this far, that's pretty amazing. Uh, we're gonna get that 23rd star. We're gonna be moving on to 24 here pretty soon. Oops. Not with, not with moves like that. Okay, while he's down, I can choose to do damage or I can heal. We'll go for damage to get him into that second stage so I can heal. But now, now we're screwed. Whew. Well, I'd like it to be better timing where I get a, an attack off here. What is that reach? Yeah, I'm gonna work on it here, Eva. Okay. Let's use these. Wow. Good shot in the back there, Eva. I like your style, girl. So that overhead slam. Oh. Wow, that stagger he's got. He knows how to stagger. But our overhead slam has a pretty good um, stagger potential on him. Uh, okay. Sounds like we got a helicopter or something out there. Oh. No. And no, no, no. Why? He chose the one point. to heal one more because I knew if I get hit one more time we're dead <laughs> you're really back I'm so glad mm -hmm. I really am oh this is a tough fight this is a very tough fight this guy he never gets easier and he just never never allows you to pull any punches ever like you have to always be on your toes. Like there. One hit, and I'm dead. 
one hit, Eva's dead. It's like, why? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm glad they made him a difficult boss. Wow. But, uh, you know, sometimes it just gets too ridiculous. Alright, we've tried enough Demeter Hammer. Alright, we'll go We'll go one more try, and then it's time to just obliterate him. Yep, I'm awake. Well, we've got all kinds of activity going on out there tonight. Sounds like people aren't uh, enjoying the quarantine. Oh, I didn't use auto heal last. <laughs> uh, another rookie mistake. Here we go. Good grief. Alright, Eva. You and me, girl. Let's get auto heal. Okay. It's our chance to kind of sort of capitalize on a little tiny bit of damage. Good. Got guard booster. Oh. Okay, we got two I-Core. So we can revive Eva if we need. Let's get a heal. Gosh, those blood trails. It's just like an instant stagger as soon as they show up. Wow. Or an instant kill, you know. Oh, good grief. Oh, Eva, you beautiful, beautiful woman. Oh, no. Good grief. Alright. We gave it our best with the Demeter Hammer. No more. No more. Oh, that's so disappointing. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that at least there is, um... There is a panic button in the game. Um, I mean, it's kind of weird that, that that's the case. I mean, I guess this is a, uh, you know, well, I do need to get better kind of a case. But, uh, you know, I wish it wasn't. <laughs> I wish it was a, a case of, like, you know, I could do something a little better. Something a little um, more on the nose of what I want to do. Hmm. Okay. Uh, no. And where's bridge? Oh. And one overdrive. Okay, yes, yes, yes. And for this, we want to go for like a dex and mine, sure. Uh, we will, we will be wanting a dragon, a dragon lunge. Jack, yes. Um, we will go for 
here we're definitely going to go for this and blood sacrifice all right i think we're pretty good here as this is slash so we're we're good there okay and here we can go for this and that and this yes Okay. That's a good idea. Whoops. No. That's not what I wanted. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, so this is kind of, you know, just the panic button way to get through the game. Uh, it's unfortunate, but the reality of what it is, so we uh, it's in the game, we go ahead and use it, and that's just, you know, how it's going to be. Um, but, you know, I wish it always didn't come down to this, but, you know, a lot of times it does. So, okay, and we'll take this off and we'll give Jack the opportunity to stay with us. through all three phase transitions now at once. <laughs> okay. Oof. No mistakes now? Well, you've seen my track record, Jack. Oh. Oh. Okay. We'll give him, we'll give him that one. I used Dragon Lunge at the wrong time on his third transition phase there, so that's on me. Oh man, I want to see that 23rd star. I really want to see that 23rd star, come on. Okay. Okay, here we go. I don't know why I'm using that healing. I can't use them anyways. There we go. Get Fatal Surge going. But you can see the uh, damage difference and potential that uh, these two builds have. I mean, between the two of them. It's kind of crazy. I, I just never get used to the idea of it. He was not transitioning. He was attacking. I mean, they make you back up on purpose. Kind of a cheap move. Oh, come on. That's twice in a row I've gotten it wrong. Oh, come on. Those two dragon lunges. Oh. Wow, this is horrible. Every time I get here, it's just this guy is so hard. <laughs> oh. I'm fully conscious. Okay, here we go. My goodness, this is turning into much longer of a video. I apologize, everybody. But we're going to make it one way or another. Uh, tomorrow you can continue watching and see the end of this. <laughs> okay, I gotta time my uh, dodges correctly with uh, Dragon Lunge here. There we go. I always go back to the regen inducers just in the off, one off chance that we there's a good... oh. Oh. See, now he should have transitioned, but he didn't. Instead, he went and attacked me and thought that was a much better use of his time. Where he should have been transitioning, but instead... Okay. 
thing. Oh, that blood trail, come on. <laughs> oh, that blood trail stagger. And now he's transitioning. <sighs> See, he transitions like he's in a state where he should be transitioning. And instead he's like, oh, I think I'm going to go three or four more attacks. And then he transitions after he's done with his attack string. It's like, no, you should be stopping mid mid string to uh, go ahead and transition. But nope, he transitions when he feels like it. It's unfortunate for us, but that is exactly how he's coded. And we have to play around it. And I'm the masochist who's uh, playing this <laughs> on 23 stars, so... It's on me. It's definitely on me. But uh, we'll see how far and high and long and hard we can push uh, Code Vein to be uh, the ultimate get good simulator. See? And now. See? Uh, oh, no, I don't want to transition now. I want to, I want to transition later. There he goes, he's gonna transition again. He's gonna come out of this. And he's gonna transition a third time. For no reason. Because he shouldn't have been in transition there. So he's gonna go ahead and kill Jack. Jump. Oh. Uh, the curse of W and ASD where you try to dodge caddy corner <laughs> and you are only pushing the W instead of W and D at the same time. <sighs> You're up then? Good. Wow, this is... Wow, I am pretty tired though from the day. That's a good idea. Had a long day of work. Okay. So if any of you wondering out there, is New Game uh, Plus hard? Yeah, it's pretty hard. It's not impossible, but it's definitely hard. Which I don't mind the difficulty. I just uh, mind some of the RNG that's uh, built into the game. And like that. He does a tiny little sidestep and gets a free hit when he should have been transitioning. But, oh, come on. Stuff like that. You know, see, and now, oh, stagger transition. <laughs> uh, he should have taken the stagger and transitioned before the second swing because I hit him first, so he was already in that. But hit, because his attack string was active, there's nothing I could do to take him out of that. So it's kind of. Uh, it's just infuriating. <laughs> oh well. Got the right gear, all else fails. And there's no way to practice against him. Uh, you can uh, try your luck in the Tower of Trials, but even then you have to go all the way through the entire tri uh, trial in order to get to him down at the end. So you either play him here, or you play him at the Tower of Trials, so there's no way for you to try your luck and learn him inside and out anywhere else other than here. Oh, Jack? What are you doing? What? Are, you dodged three times before you healed me. What? <laughs> oh, what is he doing? Oh my goodness. There's no problem. Uh, the solution is RNG, be on my side. There are times where you can literally run in here, smash him, and he doesn't stand any kind of a chance. And then there's times where he does the stagger chain uh, of his uh, um, transition phases, and then at the same time, 
you're, he's completely invulnerable during every single one of those transition phases. So there's nothing you can do except to wait until he's at maximum damage potential. See, now he should transition. Good. Oh. Now he's going to stagger and transition again. So there's transition two. See, now he should transition here. Okay, good. He's behaving. Come on, I was in the downswing. That should be an invulnerability. Or at least a stagger. In. What? And there's the transition. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You've just got to be kidding me. Oh, man. See, that is... He, he was standing, and then he started an attack string before, or at the point where he was at transitions, but instead of transitioning, he went for the stack, he went for the attack string instead for whatever reason. He had no reason to do that. He had every reason to stagger. He was below 12.5%. There's no reason for him to do that. But, you know, Bamco thinks otherwise. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh well. <sighs> it would be great if there was a way that you could practice against him to uh, get better strategies and... Okay, let's heal. Good job, Jack. Now he should transition as... Nope. Good grief. See, there's the stagger. Transition time. <laughs> uh, it doesn't cease to amaze me. Every time it's just amazing how how bad that happens oh my goodness if you are still watching this uh, you are a trooper and a half uh, you are an absolute uh, wonder to behold to be watching this still with me and enduring the pain alongside me during this time so thank you for that thank you so much I really appreciated all the support everybody's uh, given on this uh, Road to 100 series um, it's only going to get worse from here on out, so... <laughs> uh, that's why uh, a lot of the uh, cheese strats for a lot of the um, bosses will be coming out in the later stars. Uh, is he going to attack? Yep. Simply because of the fact of... Uh, we won't have enough energy <laughs> in our little brains to be able to go ahead and move forward with these crazy boss fights that we're going to have. Good grief. Thank you, Jack. Good grief, come on. That's three attacks I missed. Oh, come on. That is... That is poor play on my part. That is poor play. That swinging... That running attack should have hit him. Uh, the auto-tracking. Mm. Maybe we should have stuck with the hammer. <laughs> Uh, That's a good idea. Yeah, this did not go this way last time. I don't know why we're having such a problem here with it this time. Everything ready? Sure. And because he is uh, only weak to physical attacks and all the uh, um, 
met, uh, uh, active gifts that you could do, or elemental, uh, it won't do anything here. Jack is the worst, the worst healer <laughs> out of everyone. Okay. Don't make me so anxious like that. Let's go for a crush. That's a good idea. Find it over. Uh. Now you'll see a significant, uh, well not significant, but a considerable uh, damage increase in our attacks from uh, the Queenslayer Greatsword, as uh, Crush is the weakness you want to be playing to. I was hoping to go for Judgment Edge, but not, not so the case. Even though we, uh, it's listed less on the card, uh, we will do more damage in each single strike. See any... See, now, why couldn't he transition on that last? And he's gonna go for a transition, of course. Because why wouldn't he? See? That's the damage potential of the Queen Slayer Greatsword versus this guy. Good grief. And of course, he's going to transition. Oh, you've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. No way. 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 Okay. I had my rant. Good grief. Okay. Okay, we can go for this. And go for this. And this. And this. And this. Okay, final run. <laughs> yeah, right. Everybody says in the comments, yeah, right. I thought the last one was the final run. <laughs> oh, but, but, but believe me, this is the final run. See? Final run. Now you should transition. Thank you. Now you should be transitioning. Woohoo! There we go. I have never felt so happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good grief. He is a rough fight. There we go. That was a very golden girl. Okay. Success. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, let's see it. Let's see that star. 23. Right there. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. We'll pick up here uh, next time in uh, part number 30 on our, in our 23rd star on our way to 100 stars. So thanks, everyone. Uh, thank you to our 12th subscriber, and I hope uh, everyone has a great rest of the week. Whatever day it is, whatever quarantine you're going through, uh, just uh, hang in there. We'll all get through it together. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.